Hey guys, today I will be doing um, a Q&A. So you guys ask the questions and I will answer them. So the first, there's not many, but I just wanted to answer them anyway. So the first question is, why did you start doing freebies? Okay, the reason why, well, I started doing freebies back in like, 2009 but it wasn't I wasn't doing it I was doing it like every whenever I remembered but then I started and I thought it was fun so then I started back the beginning of this year and I was like oh I didn't know that you can there's something every day that you could sign up for so I started doing that and I was like oh this is so awesome and that's how I started doing freebies. How did you find out you could get free things? Um, well, I what what back in two thousand nine, what I did was I went onto this, and this what's funny is that the site still works and and everything. It's called um, SlickDeals.net, and I went to that site, and I was like. Oh, this is fun like any any um on the site when you look up the freebies if it has like more than three thumbs up that means it works and so I was doing that and then and then back in February I was bored and I was like oh let me do some freebies again so I start so I went to slickdeals.net and then and then I was like oh I didn't know that you could go to like stuff on on Facebook like freebie ninja and vombo.com and I was like oh okay the these site actually work and I'll I like the page and I'll get on it and I'll do it every day and from there since February I've been doing it um do I like yeah, YouTube of course I like YouTube I wouldn't be doing it if if I didn't like it and, and I find it it's a it's a fun hobby and I really really enjoy it and at first I didn't know what I was doing like editing I'm I'm okay at editing I'm still not good but at first I was deleting the whole video and oh man it was it was bad I was like how do you edit <laughs> I had to look on YouTube to learn how to edit oh it was bad anyway I would get frustrated, very, very frustrated. Were you nervous you would get mean comments? Well, I guess I'm putting myself out there, so... And I see people that make mean comments on other people's YouTube, and... I don't... And sometimes it just mind boggles me on... Why would you sit there and watch people that you don't like over and over again every single day and make rude comments and as the saying goes if you have nothing nice to say don't say it at all I'm probably gonna get comments on that but you know what if I get mean comments oh well they have they what what can I do I'm not perfect so nobody's perfect What's the scariest thing that's ever happened to you? Hmm. Um. Scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, okay. This. Well, it's not really scary. I mean, as a child, it probably would be scary. I was scared when I was a child when this happened. But let me let me tell you the story. I was, I don't know why. I never go to these things because as a child, I was, I never wanted to be away from my family. I was always like, I was scared to sleep over people's houses. Um, like even my aunt's house, I was even scared and I wouldn't sleep through the night. And I remember one night I like tortured her and I was like, when am I going to see my mom? Where am I going to see my parents? Where am I going to see dad? Where am I going to see mom? So yeah. But anyway, back to the story. I went to, um, 
I guess you would say it was like summer camp when I was like either four or five years old. And I, I would see my brother. I have an older brother, by the way. I would see my brother um, hanging around the school, checking on me to see if I was okay, you know, whatever. And I was fine because, you know, I was with my friends. And then all of a sudden, now as I'm, I'm a teacher, so now as a teacher, like, this is a big no-no. You could get in serious trouble for this. Everybody left me in the schoolyard because nobody came to pick me up. So they all the teachers left. Everybody got picked up except for me. And luckily there was this girl that I was hanging out with. Luckily her sister was like, you know, kind of watching over me like, you know, what happened? Do you want to, we have to go home. Do you want to come to my house? And you could call whoever you need to call. So I was like, okay, sure. Apparently from my brother's point of view, he, he came a little bit later and he was worried because he saw nobody in the schoolyard. He, he was asking like all the teachers, he was getting really, really mad. Like, oh my God, I lost my little sister. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I mean, I was fine. I wasn't really nervous. So I went to the girl's house. I played with her little kittens. And I called my grandmother. Luckily, I didn't call my mom. I called my grandmother. My grandmother was, like, really, really chill. Like, she... I'll, I'll tell you another story. So, but she's she was mad chill. And she was mad cool. Okay, love. Like, with her with a little Irish accent. Anyway, <laughs> She, so I called and I was like, nobody came to pick me up at the school. I'm at this girl's house. Here's her address. Luckily, I was smart enough to do this. Call up, knew my number, everything. Okay, love, I'll send, my grandmother says, okay, love, I'll send your brother. So my brother was all worried. Luckily, he, he came to pick me up. He was nervous. And our plan was, don't tell my mother. Because my mother was like such a worry wart. So, um, so yeah, and then I went, it wasn't really scary, but thinking back on it, it, you know, like a lot of things could have happened and, and, but eventually we did tell my mother and my mother was like, what? But, <laughs> um, yeah, that was about, that's about it. Oh, and then one time, speaking of my grandmother, one time my, my grandmother, I told my grandmother, it was me and my best friend Desiree. <laughs> we were, I think we, we were in either in our late teens, early twenties, maybe 20. Yeah, we were just out of high school. And we planned on going, at the, at the time I lived in New York, so me and her planned to go to Staten Island to the mall. So, we're like, alright, our plan is, don't tell our parents. So, if her mom called me, I would tell her, oh, we, we went to the mall in Brooklyn. We took the bus and everything. So, I was like, okay. And if... My mom called, we'd say the same thing. So I told my grandma, which I called her in Greek. It's Yaya, which is grandma in Greek. I said to her, we're going to Staten Island. Please don't tell my mom. She's like, okay, love, have fun. And she, she didn't worry. She just, she was always like, okay, just have fun. So we go to the Staten, so we go to Staten Island. It took us forever because we took transportation. And now it's like 8 o'clock at night, 8, 9 o'clock at night, and we're walking around the mall. We took pictures of the Easter Bunny. Actually, I still have the picture. This is the picture of my best friend and I with the Easter Bunny. <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> so we, um, we go to the mall. Give me a second. So then my mom calls. My mom's like, Oh, I'll come, I'll come and pick you up at the mall. And I was like, 
when we oh man like i was like oh my goodness what am i gonna do no no ma don't pick us up don't pick us up <laughs> so she she's like no no she's being very persistent she's like no no i'll come and pick you guys up and i was like i had to give in and i had to tell her, listen the reason why you can't pick us up is because we're at Staten Island Mall. And I said, and Yaya knew. Yaya knows that we went to Staten Island Mall and she gave us our blessings to go. <laughs> so my mom was like flipping out. She was so mad at me. And um, she's like, well, I'll, I'll wait for you by the bridge. So we took the bus from Staten Island all the way into um, Brooklyn. Bay Ridge area and got off the bus and she came to pick us up but yeah that was our, our little story I wasn't I was a pretty for, for the most part I was a pretty good uh, kid and teenager and I didn't rebel or anything I actually listened to my parents but whatever it is what it is <laughs> my mom was just very overprotective <laughs> And last, um, last question is scary story, but I don't really have a scary story. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye.